Hi everyone, this is Anil. Uh, in this video, we will see how to load data using Import Set API. So to do that, we will follow the six steps method. First step is to prepare instance as part of which we will do the required uh, setup in the platform to enable this uh, data load. So which involves uh, creation of data source, creation of Import Set table, creation of robust transform. So once these three steps are done, we will run a test create and update uh, using an excel file so that will prove that the robust transform is working so once that is done we will uh, do a setup that is required to allow uh, multiple uh, rows uh, transformation uh, using the rest method so that setup we will do after that we will use import set api uh, on this staging table to load data into this uh, target table and then we will do a test create and update using this api explorer and finally we'll test it from postman so let's get started uh, first i will use this file which has two columns number and short description and i load that using this data source so go to manage attachments and i'll add this file And we'll load all records. So it has loaded data into this table. Now we will look at the robust transform which is defined. So we'll go to robust. So here we have this uh, robust import set transformers. So go here, and this is the name of the transform transformer. It has a transform definition. So we'll open that. Uh, the definition has uh, three entities and two mappings. So the source is the source table, which is the incident loader API. And it has two fields, number and chart description. So when you give the field or path, it has to be the actual column name of this field in the staging table. So we have to give that here. That's where you see that the name is U underscore number, U underscore short description. And then we have uh, staging table which is uh, the intermediate table which is used for uh, uh, like while reading this data from the source table and passing to target table it again has two fields number and short description and finally we have the target table which is the incident table and here again you have two fields number and short description now let's look at the mappings the two mappings one is source to staging source to target so source to staging has a number to number short description to short description and similarly staging to target also has same thing right now we will do a transformation and verify the load so do that we'll go to import sets we have just loaded one file so we'll try to transform that now we look at the data before we transform so it has incident number and short description similarly incident number and short description so now let's transform this so once you transform the transform completes and in the transform history, you can see that two records are processed. Now, once we go to incident table, uh, we should be able to see the subjects. Let's go to incidents, all. So we can see that the short description got updated. So that proves that the robust transform is working. Now, next, we will do the second step, which is to uh, yeah, we finished these two steps now. So let's do the setup for REST API. So for that, we have to go again here and then say REST. Insert multiple. And here we have to make an entry like this. Where you provide a name to it. Source table transformation, which is asynchronous or synchronous. 
uh, and then validate request and in the column mappings you have to give the type as json uh, here there are two options one is label one is column name i'll give column name and then this is the reference to that rest insert so that that is a setup which is required now let's go to the third step which is rest api explorer so we go here and we will uh, look at the import set api explorer so here we want to do multiple so let's click on multiple inserts and the table is new incident loader api so let's use that this is a table and we have to add the fields here now uh, we'll use the raw method so let's take the raw json from here yeah i'll take it from here we'll load that here uh, so you'll see that there are two records one is the again incident number and uh, incident number and then short description so now let's send this here so you get a response of 201 which means it is insert now we'll go to import set see that this got created and it is also processed so there are two rows this is the uh, short description we have sent from that payload the same is the case with this so now the incident should also have an update yeah so you can see that the short description is updated uh, the same thing can be tested via postman so if you go to postman we will take this URL from here and paste it here. And then similarly, uh, the headers which are uh, accept content type will paste that and authorization is basic auth. So you provide that here. And then we do a send request and that should uh, investigate as 201 again. Uh, let's update the body and click on send So you can see that in the response there's import set ID and multi import set ID. If you go back to platform and go to import sets, you can see that a new import set got created. So it is still yet to be processed. So we'll give it a minute to process. So you can see that now it is processed. And if you look at the rows in this import set, it should have two rows. And you can see that this is coming from the values which we gave in the payload. Same applies here. And if you go to the incident table, so this is an update to this record and there's a new record which is created as we can see from the short description. So that is how we can uh, load data using input set API. So we'll do a quick recap. First, we'll create a, we'll prepare the instance as part of which we will uh, create a data source, import such staging table, rows transform, and once that is done, we'll do a test using Excel method. And then after that, we'll do a setup for REST insert multiples. I mean, this is a key step. Without this, uh, it won't allow you to do a, a 
multiple uh, record insert through import set API. So this is a key step. And once that is done, we go to REST API Explorer, we will verify uh, that it is allowing us to uh, I mean, like interact with this API and then create records. And once that test is complete, we have tested from Postman. So again, let's look at the URL. So you can see that the URL has insert multiple as a parameter uh, attribute and also the, the table name of this import set uh, staging table. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Anil.